I recently did a review of this cheap PTZ camera on my channel, so if you haven't seen that video yet, you should definitely check it out. I got interested to see what parts are used in an inexpensive camera like this, so I decided to make a teardown video of it. And for any sensitive viewers, some parts did get hurt in the process of making this video. Let's start open up the top part by removing these four screws. And on the other side we have four more screws holding the midsection in place. Okay, so here we have the antenna cable. Let's just pull that one apart. That worked. Alright, so this is the motor that pans the camera. Not much else going on in here. Let's see if we can remove it. Let's open up the lower part of the camera and see what's inside. Okay, so what we have here is the brain of the camera, I guess. We get two circuit boards and a lots of wires. We have another motor here as well, which is for tilting the camera. Let's see what we can disassemble. I will start to remove all the wires from the boards. Now let's unscrew these four screws here and see what happens. Okay, now we can see the lens. Let's see if we can get it all separated. I'm not an expert in electronics, so I won't even try to explain what all the different stuff are on the boards. Unfortunately my camera shut down here and I lost a bit of recordings, since I didn't notice it until after a few minutes. Anyway, this is when I got the lens and all the boards separated. Let's see if I can remove the sides here and have a look what's inside. And they are secured in place by two screws for each side. This is a small ball bearing. And there we have it, all the parts in a cheap Wi-Fi PTZ IP security camera. Thank you for watching and I hopefully see you in my next video.